Aloha iko ola loha vai a peia puna mele vai nahe nahe nani loa mahalo ki kipa ana mai no keia pukana o mele makalihi vai o iai kako ma ne i ma keia lihi vai o ka ele pulu ka vai ua kupono no kela i no ano keia pukana ke kahi a ua nui loa kopoma i kai i ke kipa ana mai o keia po e nui o ke kalana ma keia puola hawai i me kola ko hoa o po mai kai Lyman. Aloha nui kaua. Ui, aloha. A me kona mau hoa. Ano Leila, e ho o maka kako i keia pukana. So po mai kai mahalo, of course, for being here. I'm going to ask you if you will introduce a little bit yourself, but also your band members. Give us a little bit of background. Oh yeah, I know a lot of us are familiar, familiar with you and the amazing family that you come from, but give us your spiel. Who are you? <laughs> aloha. Ovau opo mai kai ke ave Lyman. Um, my grandmother is Auntie Genoa ke ave, as she is affectionately known to the rest of the world. Um, on stage with me, I have my hoa with me. First, we'll start with uh, Halehaku Siberi to my right on the guitar, and to my far left is ke ao Costa on the bass, and right here is um, our kupuna of the group. This is. <laughs> Alan Akaka, master steel guitarist. Aloha, thanks again. Thank you all for being here with us today for um, this episode of Mele Makalihivai. But maybe you could just start out and talk a little bit about the mele that you folks did to open our show today. Yes, of course. Um, I hail from the hills of Papakolea, and so that song that we just performed for you tells of my home and where I grew up. Um, wonderful memories of my childhood, but most especially because that is where I had the chance to learn all of what I know today from my tutu, and that's where we fostered the love of music in our home, and that's why I'm here today to share a little bit of my ohana with all of you. Wonderful, mahalo for that. And then take us into the next song that you'll do for us today, um, a little bit about maybe the mele and or why you chose it, why you wanted to share that with us today. I so the next mele is um, more about my home, but one of the stories that I share with you is that my grandmother, when she was at home, loved uh, to garden. And you know how our musicians love to just grow their own flowers so they don't need to go bother anybody else in their yards. Uh, when they go to gig, they can grab from their own. And so she was growing Ohaya Li'i at the time. And we had all kinds of colors, red, yellow, orange, and she even found pink ones and was growing the pink ohaya li'i. Um, but now, those ohaya li'i plants that she started off growing in those, you know, the U-Ban coffee cans, <laughs> um, they, they are now lining the stairway down to our hale in Papakolea. Mm -hmm. And we only were able to save uh, the red, yellow ones. And so I wear this lei to um, to honor my tutu and and the love she had for this pua, but this pua is she also loved the type of lei that it made, and and it, this song talks about how we give it as a gift of aloha to Malihini. <laughs> Oh, 
Watching Melamakali Hivai with Pomeka Ilaimen, Ohana, and friends. We'll take a quick break and be right back. Hema wala kai, kia i, apo eloea kokela me kia lahui a puni kahonua. Ke waku mahavai. Ana ke ia po e mako hawai e ho ola, a ho opa a ho wiki kahu ka ike ike yao. A we ho ana ko. No kapono ona hanauna e hiki mayana. Ena na aku ya naloea the masters he puka ina homa o wivi kivi ke kanela kiko hoe kolu lua ono. Mona kea kue hivi ku hao i ko malie. Ahe mona no ia e ku hao hao e kanaka i kona hie hie a kila kila. Ao ka mea vale no paha e like ai me ke ai iwa iwa o mona kea. Oia ho i kona mau haa vina e aua e ai kanaka. E nana mai nō i ka pukana mua a hai o la loola ma kona anu hou ke wala au ia ke kahi o kei a mau haa vina ma o wivi ki ko TV a ma ke kanela ki ko hoa e helu kolu lua o no ke kai. Aloha. A ole mākou i nele i ka home ole. No ka mea, a ole mākou i nele i ki aloha ole I vaino o ke kahi poe, ke noo noo ia nei o ke aloha, o ia koha vai i loea hako a hai poema o ke ia wā. Ke noo noo nei mako, apopo paha a ia lāku, e ike ia na noo ka manu o ku, a ke kai mau manu e ae, e ho o ia na mai ia mako, i kai o ka waa ma ki a moana nui a kea. Oh, we can. 
Ohana me na hoa aloha o Iwi TV no kanana ana mai a mele makalihi vai o yai mako makalihi vai ne o ka ele pulu ka Hawaii ai ki ala wenui ka po mai ka i ki kipa ana mai o po mai ka i laimen men kona mo hoa aloha a me ko ohana ke kahi. Oh, Oli, thank you so much for joining us as well. For those of you who were watching us earlier at the top of the show, when everyone was introduced, Pomeka'i talked about what many of us may know in her pili to one of Hawaii's treasures, if you will, Auntie Genoa Keave. And we also have Pomeka'i's cousin, Hau Oli, um, who also came and just shared a beautiful hula with us. Wa'u'i maoli no, mahalo nui. We were talking earlier in the break about how fortunate we all are in Hawaii to be able to continue some of these things that are so Hawaiian for us, namely the tradition of mele and hula. So I'm sitting and standing on the side, looking at the two of you, doing your thing. And I just wanted to ask you, Ho'oli, when you're in this kind of a context, beautiful music, wonderful songs that you know we've heard and danced for years, what are some of the things that come to mind for you about grandma? Well, grandma, for me, that comes to mind is, has nothing to do with music or hula, but um, she would call me up and ask me what I was doing. And um, of course I would say nothing. And then she would ask me, can you come pick me up and take me to 7-Eleven and buy me a hot dog? So I'm like, of course, I'm not gonna tell Graham no. So I go, I pick her up, I take her, I take her home. Pomeka'i's father calls me and yells at me because Tutu is not supposed to have hot dog. But I am not gonna tell my Tutu no. Right. And so that is the first memory of anything that comes to mind. <laughs> Wonderful, that is so precious. You know, I think some of us, when we have like these treasures in our community, we just think of them as almost larger than life sometimes. And they really regular people that like eat hot dogs sometimes. So Pomeka, you and I were also talking earlier in the break about the fact that even though you and Hauoli are of the same Hanauna or same generation, she calls um, what we call Auntie Genoa Grandma, but you call her by a different name, and maybe you could talk about that and take us right into the next song. Yes, my dad was the youngest of 12 children. Well, actually, number 11. But as such, I grew up with a generation of Keiki who were actually after me. And so they all called her Tutu. The people in my generation called her Grams or Grandma. And so I always knew her as Tutu. Um, but Tutu... Uh, would always take us to her gigs. You know, my dad was, be being the youngest, he had that kuleana of taking her, uh, driving her to all of her gigs at a time of her life when she had to stop driving. And I got to tag along. And one of the things that you expect when you tag along with Tutu, especially if she's a musician, you will be called up to dance. And so I had to go take hula, and we learned from Antihu'i Park at Hui Park Sula Studio in Pa'oa. 
and I learned this next song, which talks about our tutu. And so I really enjoyed my time with her, and I wanted to share this song because I just love how fun it is, and it basically, in a nutshell, is how all of our tutu was at one point. <laughs> oi, oi, take it away with tutu, eh? <laughs> Makalihi Vaima Oivi TV, Heho Malolo Wiki, Aho Imei Koi. Heo Hai Ia Mea O Koho O Keleva A, Ano Kia Hai Iko Iko Ea Ia Hana, No Koho Ouluana, Ina Ala Kai O Kahana O Naho. E Nana Mai Noi Ana Pe O Hokulea, Ma Oivi Kiko TV, A Ma Ki Kanela Kiko Hoe, Helu Kolu Lua Ono. How's it? How's it? Can I get a plate of steam, quarter line, fruticosa bundles, chunks of bonito, extra algae, gelatinized coconut liquid, and some pounded calacacia esculenta? Order up. 
and it'll allow love play with poke, haupia, and poi. Without Hawaiian, it's just not the same. Aho Punana Leo, reinvigorating the Hawaiian language since 1983. Aloha mai e nga mamua haloa mai ke kahi au au ai ke kahi au au ako ke ia whai aina. E ia mako na hoa o Kaleo Oivi. E launa mai noi ke ia haule lau ma Oivi TV nei. Um, what did she just say? Stick around, you'll find out. Pumbaile. Kaleo Oivi, a new Hawaiian language learning series now on Oivi TV, digital channel 326 and online at oivi.tv. Ako awoho e a mina mina no i ko mahele hope o kia pukana o mele makalihi vai ma kia vai na nea nui loa i kia mo leo a nahe nahe no o pome ka ilaimen me kono mo ho aloha me ko ohana ke kahi pome ka we were talking earlier about um, so many things of course about grandma about tutu. Um, and I think many of us know that one um, thing that was perhaps just as important, if not more important to her, than her love for music was her ao ao pili uhane and her um, spirituality, her aloha kua. And so I just wanted to ask you if you wouldn't mind sharing a little bit about that, as I believe the next melody that you're going to share with us is representative of that. I, um, my tutu had a strong uh, relationship with our Heavenly Father and she always reminded me and acknowledged the fact that the gift of song that she had was a gift from God. And so she spent her life sharing that gift with the world and you know, it's because of her I learned that it's very hard to say no when people ask for you to share that, that gift. And so this next song that I do, she heard uh, performed by Johnny Mathis and she fell in love with this song um, and she asked her good friend Auntie Malia Craver to translate the words into Hawaiian and this song gives a message of unity one that says that no matter how you worship we all worship the same God and that was the message that my tutu wanted to share hey, Millions of stars placed in the sky by one God. Millions of men lift up their eyes to one God. So many people calling to him by many a day. Pule ai 
Nani loa kela mele, nani ko manao, uh, mahalo, ko kika analike ana mai, if you will. Um, and thank you, folks. We've come to the end of our time of a great episode of Mele Makalihi Vai. Mahalo nui a oe po mei kai to you, Kiao, Alan, Halehaku, for being here with us today and um, sharing with us, and not only today, but for what all of you continue to do. Mahalo nui. And so po mei kai, I'm just going to let you take it away and introduce the final song. All right. This is a favorite song of ours, especially within our ohana, and I know it's familiar to many of you out there. Um, but it's a song that, you know, my tutu had a chance to take to Carnegie Hall and to perform. And when she did perform this in Ca Carnegie Hall, the entire audience, whoever knew the mele, got up to dance. So we do it for you today.